right, guys. Happy belated St. Patrick's Day. And in celebration of that, I wanted to pick up a green Glock. You guys know I have love for the 357 SIG. But it's too snappy. It's too expensive. I know, guys. I've been around the block, okay? I've pretty much done it all, tried it all with these, uh, with these Glocks, guys. And I really do love the 357 round. I shoot it better than my 40. I don't feel it's as snappy. I mean, go out and shoot it for yourself before, you know, you tell me <laughs> what you think it is or James Yeager said. I just love the round, guys. I think it's so versatile. And I have about 1,200, 1,300 rounds of it, so why not? I have the 33. This is going to be my camping gun. Had these laying around. These are actually brand new, but they're for a Glock 26. So I had to uh, kind of customize them. It only comes with these two, and I actually had skateboard tape that is the same exact material <laughs> as the Talon grip, so this isn't actually attached. So I had to add that one strip there. And I don't like any grip or stippling up here if, if I have a choice, so that works out fine for me. This is the first time, yep, first time I've ever had the XS Big Dot Night Sights, guys. As many Glocks as I've had and as many sights as I've tried, I just never had them, okay? And I do like them. This is brand new, minus ooh, three mags. Just... Nothing like a brand new Glock, man. You know, a brand new handgun. <laughs> Effort, Smith & Wesson, Beretta. I love them all, man. Give me a brand new gun any day. Got this for a really good price, guys. So, OD Green is becoming impossible to find again. Not Battlefield Green. OD Green, okay? I mean, you type it in. OD Green Glock 26, which I just picked up. You guys saw that one, right? I mean, type it in. See if you can find one for sale. <laughs> They're out of stock everywhere. So anyway, I'm glad I found this one. And the versatility, guys. I mean, what are we doing here? We got the 40 caliber round. We have a nine millimeter round that we can put in here. So 357, 40, and nine can all be shot out of this gun. Of course, with the conversion barrel, or you just throw your 40 in there. And guys, I do recommend, if you're gonna run this gun as a nine millimeter, like a Glock 19, I wouldn't just because I have Glock 19s, but some guys just want that one gun to do it all, and I totally understand that. But if you are, all I would do, other than the barrel and, of course, the mags, guys, is, where is it? I'd get yourself a new ejector, okay? Now, I actually haven't had any issues at the range using the normal ejectors, but the ejection is kind of weak. Okay, so what you want to do, I just had this new one in case I ever wanted to switch out the entire... Uh, you know, guts of the gun. But anyway, you guys know all of this stuff. I don't want to treat you like idiots, but this is curved in. This is the newer model, of course. And it's curved in to grab the 9mm casing. Okay? The 40s and the 357s are straight. So if you want really strong ejection, change this out with everything else. I mean, just use your normal everything else. <laughs> just change this out, guys. Change out your barrel, change out your mag. You have a Glock 19. All right, what I actually just did without showing you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a bag of triggers, and some are polished, I've done, and some aren't. And I have a bag of recoil guide rods, and I mean recoil springs, and trigger springs, and you guys know my box, right? So I just swapped it out. It's just a little smoother trigger pull. Sorry about that, guys. So as you can see, it's just polished. And all I do to polish it is use a Dremel. A little bit of uh, Mothers, or Flits, or whatever. Okay? So it is pulling smoother. It didn't lessen the brake any. I am actually waiting on a trigger right now. So it'll be here uh, Monday or Tuesday. Can't wait for my holster to come in. Obviously, I am excited because I finished my custom M&P. The only thing I was missing was the trigger shoe. I had the complete trigger job, but I just didn't like that trigger. So I wanted to change it out, and I guess more projects came in at the time. That's just a reality, guys. I mean... Okay, so I want to hook this up a little bit, maybe do a trigger and then I'll buy another Glock and I'll kind of forget about this one for a second or an AR or what have you. You guys get the point. All right, so I just wanted to show you a new Glock. I know, nothing exciting, but I do love the 357 SIG round and I'll be taking this one camping with me. This is going to be my camping gun or EDC. I mean, I love carrying my 23 and my 19. So God bless. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.